I see you there, booger boy. And you, Mr. Stick Boy. I don't exactly know what that intro was going to be, but... Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I am Plays, and we are going to be running away from those guys, because those guys are not the people we want to talk to. The people we actually want to talk to, or person we want to talk to, is in this house. The house that we live in, or that we, like, previously lived in, because we're going to be going on some kind of adventure, but let's talk to good old Grandma. What is it, Jordan? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. Uh, and where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? The power of being a mute. Grandma will never know. So let's just go up, get the shield, and we can be going, you know? Oh, it, it, it's not there. Well, that's not good. Okay, well, let's talk to Grandma, see where it is. <laughs> if I was a grandmother, and I saw my little grandchild hanging off the little hanging off the side of the second story like that, I think I'd be a little afraid. <laughs> I also like how Link's looking around like, well, this is a predicament. Anyways, let's just let go. Oh yeah, welcome to the Wind Waker Endurance Test. I never actually said the name of the series. Jordan. <laughs> so concerned, Link. So concerned. Is this what you're looking for? Uh, I think so. I think that's the shield I'm looking for. It has the Triforce on it, so it's at least a Zelda shield. Take it with you. And we got the hero shield with a very mad face because we're going to be leaving our grandmother and our sister was stolen. So that's not all that great. Yeah, it's the hero shield. Not not the master sword shield or master shield. I don't even know if that shield is in this game. I have no idea. I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? I don't know. That monster is pretty scary, though. It's okay, Grandma. We're gonna save Errol, and we're gonna bring her back, and this game is only gonna last two more episodes. Yeah, only if we could actually wish to say that. I mean, this being an endurance test, it could as well last only two more episodes, but I've gotten a lot farther than this in this game, so I know it's probably gonna be a, a little bit longer than that. I don't know how much longer than two more episodes. Maybe 20 more episodes? I don't know. How are you doing, Tetra? Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Or are you going to get splinters and cry? I don't want a little crybaby or whatever. Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. And are you ready? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm ready. There's not really anything else to do other than, like, chop grass down and getting some rupees. And I already have a decent amount of rupees, so I don't really need that. And listen to that gong. And here we are, about to set sail. I had to clear my throat, so that's why I didn't talk for a little bit. You might have been wondering, like, oh, we just wanted to play the game audio. No, but good luck, Jordan. Booger Boy is really happy. Just look at him having to, like, bring up the snot every once in a while. Like, oh, there he goes. Then it snots back down. That boy definitely needs a tissue. Link, what do you see? What do you see? Is, is it Errol? Is it... Oh, uh, it's Grandma. Either that or he's looking at Beetle's shop ship like, I forgot to buy more hoy pears! But no, we're just being sad. But not really all that sad, but also triumphant. Ugh, how much longer is this going to take? Do you have an estimate? You, I, I know you don't have actual family, Tetra, but geez. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more senti yeah, sentimental, not sentinel, what am I talking about, from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Well, I don't even know if there's enough room for the ship to turn around right now in this water, so I think it'd be a lot easier for us to... Actually, no, there is room for now. And also, the wind's not blowing the correct direction to bring us this way. That's just something I noticed. Jordan, listen, kid. You can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Gadoing? What, what am I talking about? Anyways, we are on the pirate ship. This is the main place of the game. We're gonna be on, we're gonna be on this pirate ship for, like, so many times. Not really. We're only gonna be here for, like, a little bit. We come back to the pirate ship later, but that's not until a lot later. Anyways, let's, let's talk to this guy. Why not? Stop right there. This is Mitz... This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way letting an outsider in. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think about it. Yeah. 
If you've watched Game Grumps, you know how funny that guy is. And by Game Grumps, I mean like late 2013 Game Grumps, not like recent Game Grumps. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <clears throat> that's like me throughout this whole episode so far, just clearing my throat. I'm your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so do so you do as I say, okay? Right. Now first off, you have to take the test all the new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You'll watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. I might have to change his voice, because that's going to kill my voice if I keep doing it like that. First off, you gotta press that switch. This is the only easy part. Well, I don't know, maybe it is easy. He's just saying, like, push the left control stick to go on there. I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy. I might talk for through, like, the rest of this, but who knows. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. And jumping is just you literally run towards the edge and you jump. We already learned that, so we do not have to worry about that anymore. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but the next one is a little bit too far, right? Then, what you gotta do is... Well, what you gotta do is you gotta jump to the rope and then swing on said rope. If you jump right on the rope, you can grab it and do that and stuff and let go, and then you can jump to the next little island platform thingamajig. And then, yeah, blah blah blah, he's gonna be saying we have to get over to that platform. It's, it's just a little bit useless information. I'm just skipping through the text, one, because we don't need to hear it, and two, because I don't want my voice to be, like, totally shot in this episode. <laughs> Look at his one, like, little block tooth there. It, it's like, it's kind of like rodent-like. But it's also not because it's not two teeth. It looks like just one big tooth. It might be two teeth, but I because it, I might be a little far away from my TV to distinguish a line between the teeth. But I don't know. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. I think that was a slightly different variation. Now before we actually do this, I'm going to reset the timer because I believe the timer stays on. I mean, it goes off after a while, so resetting it is probably the best idea just in case I fail at this. Now, I hope I don't fail at this, but yeah. So, we just kind of have to jump here and then let go at a certain time. Now, if you want to know, this is actually made a lot easier from the GameCube version, because you're actually able to change the direction you are swinging on the rope while you are swinging like this. Whereas in the GameCube version, in order to change direction, you had to stop and then switch direction, and that made this a little bit hard. But as you see, we got through that with no trouble whatsoever. What? You did it already? I... I'm proud to have you as my, my, my underling. I didn't think you'd get through it that fast. Jeez. I... I wonder if it's okay just to give it to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Aw, Nico. I hope we see you later in the game. That'd be cool. Let's just go here. I was going to mention something about the shadow, like, shell... Sa shell... Sa shell shaded graphics. I, I don't know, just... The two SH sounds were getting funny, and... <laughs> Here's the spoils bag. I forgot. I actually bought some bait. So now I think the bait goes in the spoils bag? I'm, I'm not sure. I know that, there, like I said, there's eight kinds of items to do, but... Hey, Jordan, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up there. Yeah, that's what makes it so you reach the Forsaken Fortress. Nothing really... I did not want to talk to you, Nico. I'm sorry that I accidentally talked to you. I'm sorry that I made it, like, that I pretended to have interest in talking to you. What I meant to do was roll off of that platform and just go back, because it would take a really long time to just use those platforms again. Because, like, why would you do that? Also, I want to check something. Are there any, like, pots I can break here? No, there are not. Actually, wait a second. Yes, there are. For some reason, I remembered that there were pots on the wall, so we can get a few little rupees just in case we have to, like, pay for stuff. Because I believe we do have to pay for something in the near future, but that near future is not going to be coming up for a little bit. But let's, um, go up there, I guess. Hey, Jordan, here, I'm up here. Up here, what? Here I am, up here. I thought it said, like, here. I, I I don't even know what I thought it said. We're just going to be walking up here because reasons, and look at that. It looks like a fortress. Is it possibly forsaken? I am not entirely sure. It looks like there's a lot of security there, so it might be a little bit hard to get in, but who knows? Maybe after we talk to Tetra, we'll know what to do. So how you doing, Tetra? 
What were you doing with Nico? Uh, nothing. We weren't doing any, like, funny business or anything. Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Uh, well, it wasn't a stupid game. It was a practical game. It was a tutorial on how to swing on ropes. I mean, I don't know how many times we're going to be swinging on a rope, but that might be practical. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. I just realized, her little, like, sideburns kind of look like thunderbolts if you look at it close enough. You can't see it now because we're looking at the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates you used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Especially because that bird is there that stole our girl. Not girl, that sounds weird because it's our sister. And if it was our girl and also our sister, that'd be incest. That'd, that'd be a little funky. Ah, I knew it. Look, over there by that window. There's a flock of seagulls. Okay. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. Because yes, seagulls flock around places where there's a whole bunch of people locked up. I mean, maybe because they feel like they might get food? But I don't know if these sea seagulls are used to getting food because I think it's just like something they develop like, oh, people at the beach give seagulls breadcrumbs. So the seagulls are like, let's go by these people and maybe you'll get some food. But these seagulls out in the ocean, I don't think uh, people feed them that often. They kind of just get their own food. Like, what do they do? Do they like go in the water and get fish out of the ocean? That might be more of a pelican. Not, is it a pelican? Yeah, a pelican kind of thing, but... I probably should read this text now, shouldn't I? But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What to do? But see what I mean about the lightning bolt hair? Like, I'm pretty sure you can see it. It's like a Pikachu tail, or actually no, that's more like a Raichu tail. But just like, without the little long part, it's just the little part at the end. You know, not a Lolan Raichu, but the old one. Hmm. What do we do now? If this narrator will stop, like, interrupting this cutscene here. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't, Link, I don't know why you took so long to freak out. I'm pretty sure you would have known you were in a barrel because they were putting you in the barrel. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. I mean, the other way is to swim there and duck underwater when the light is shining on you. But there's no underwater swimming in this game, so I guess this is the best bet. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never fe no, never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Uh, let's see about that. Okay, uh, two. One. Oh, God. Okay, and... Yep, there we go. We are flying. <laughs> like, I was like, bye. See you soon. That's one, t like... That's one, like, really powerful cannon thing. What, what is it? Catapult, not a cannon. Jeez. If it was a cannon, we'd probably be shot a little bit faster and probably hurt when we hit the side of the rock but then again we probably should have died from that head first collision because if i know anything falling into water from a really high height is like hitting concrete and hitting concrete with just your head like head first like that would probably cause crazy brain damage and that's not good anyways before we continue i just want to i want to show you guys something so yeah you can swim in the water and see how there's like a little air meter something that baffles me is like, this game, The Wind Waker, has so much water, but you'd think you'd be able to, like, swim in the water, go underneath the water, and, like, see, like, buried treasure under there, but no. I think the main reason they didn't do that for the GameCube was because it'd be, like, too much space on the GameCube. And this game was, like, relatively early in the GameCube lifetime, so they didn't really know much or whatever. And I just tried to get out my sword, but I forgot that we lost our sword in that cutscene. Oh god, what? Your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was a little bit off. <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. Sounds like an ad. For, um, what is it? Like, is it a Geico ad? I'm not sure. I'm gonna get some water quickly. Now that my thirst is quenched, I might be able to talk a little bit better. Hey, we got a little rock. <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. 
I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you'd better press that button. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe you're, like, maybe your comment's a little bit stupid, and maybe you're, like, a Navi figure, and I don't want to hear that. So, yeah, I put this stone on your quest status screen. Use that. Oh, oh, I see it. that little arrow on the gamepad. You won't be able to see that because I have no way of recording a gamepad. And if I did have a way, that would just be like too many cords in my room. And then I don't I do not have a big room if you did not know that. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it. You understand? All right, then down to brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights. So they'll see you right away. If you just go charging in better think it through. Well, I know this episode is a little short, but I need to get this episode out today, so I'm going to end this episode here, because I feel like this is a good stopping point before going through the Forsaken Fortress, because I feel like the Forsaken Fortress just needs an episode for itself, and there's no good stopping point in the Forsaken Fortress to then turn off the game in the middle of it. You get what I mean. Anyways, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Endurance Test, we are going to start the Forsaken Fortress and hopefully get our sister back. So, this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later and goodbye.